Louis, we must think very carefully about your future. Well, it should be quite easy to get a job. Not a job, dear. A career. I had hoped for Cambridge for you. The Dascoins always go to Trinity. And then perhaps the diplomatic. But I'm afraid it's no use looking as high as that. However, when you've passed your examination, that should equip you for a start in one of the professions. People of quite good family go into the professions nowadays, I understand. Now, who do we know who could help us? We don't really know anyone, except the family. And they don't know us. The least we can do is try once more. I shall write to Lord Ascoyne, Dascoyne. He can surely do something in that bank of his. Bank, Mama? Is that a profession? This is a private bank, Louis, dear. They don't pass money over the counter. The letter was duly dispatched. And this time we did get an answer. Madam, I am instructed by Lord Ascoyne Dascoyne to inform you that he is not aware of your son's existence as a member of the Dascoyne family. Signed by his secretary. It's very stupid of him, of them all, not to admit your existence when one day you might be Duke of Chalpont. It's a very big night, Mama. There must be at least 12 people before me, to say nothing of the ones who haven't been born yet. Stranger things have happened. I don't wish to be unchristian, but in view of their attitude, I could almost wish those 12 people should all die tomorrow. All except one, Mama, because you must be Duchess of Chalfont before I'm Duke. It'll have to be a job, not a career after all, Mama. I'm afraid so, Louis. A desk in trade. Did poor Mama's silly dreaming plant in my brain some seed which was afterwards to grow into the most sensational criminal endeavor of the century? If so, I was not conscious of it at the time, for there were things of more immediate concern. Even potential dukes have to eat. Mr. Perkins, our lodger for nearly 15 years, did his best to be helpful. He was employed as shop walk in a local drapery store and found employment for me there. The possible future Duke of Chalfont became what was known as a general assistant of the drapery. This humiliation continued for two dispiriting years. And then one day, Mama, who had broken her glasses and could not afford to have them mended, was knocked down by a tram near Clapham Junction and fatally injured. Louis. Yes, Mama? I should like to be buried at Chalfont. In the family vault. Yes, Mama. I wrote to the Duke, informing him of Mama's dying wish. His reply was the curtest possible refusal. Standing by Mama's poor little grave in that hideous suburban cemetery, I made an oath that I would revenge the wrongs her family had done her. It was no more than a piece of youthful bravado, but it was one of those acorns from which great oaks are destined to grow. Even then I went so far as to examine the family tree and prune it to just the living members. But what could I do to hurt them? What could I take from them? Except, perhaps, their lives. I indulged for a moment in a fantasy of all twelve of them being wiped out simultaneously at a family reunion by my unseen hand of the penniless boy from Clapham being miraculously transplanted to his birthright. I even speculated as to how I might contrive it. <laughs> 